Hello everyone. Today we will see how we can read the data from Excel file using Databricks. I tried multiple methods reading the Excel file using PySpark, but uh, I didn't get any direct method from Spark. And if you guys come across any better method than what I'm going to show you, please uh, ping me or uh, comment below this video. Um, and I can go through that. So what I did is, it's not a normal scenario. Normally, for the big data project, we normally get the XT file, CSV file, or we directly go and pull the data from various um, sources like REST API, SOAP API, or uh, any other application directly, like Facebook or Adobe Analytics. A very rare scenario, we may have to pull the data from Excel. So I also found uh, one scenario in my project to pull the data from Excel. Uh, so what I did is we used pandas, uh, Python pandas uh, data frame, then converted back the Python data frame into um, PySpark data frame. So to use pandas, pandas library, we need to install OpenPy Excel. OpenPy Excel is a Python library that can be used to read Excel, Excel XLSX, XLSM, XLBX, etc. Uh, the only thing is, it the, the site its site says that by default OpenPy XML does not guard against quadratic blow up or billion laughs XML attacks. To guard against these attacks. We need to install diffused XML. I'll provide you the link below to the video in the description so you can go through and find out more about this particular library. But this was very useful for me. So, in order to use that, first you need to install OpenPY Excel. Once you install, you can start using Excel file. So, for this purpose, um, I used one Excel. I can show you the Excel. So this is the Excel I used to read the data from Databricks using Python pandas, right? So only two rows. First one is uh, header, name, city, state, and we have two records, A, B, C, B, C, D. And uh, note that the sheet name is sheet one. I'll be accessing the data. Uh, using the sheet, right? So let's go back. So I stored the file here, slash file store slash tables. So here we have vendor XLX, the same file that I showed you just now. Now I I have installed the open PY Excel library. We are ready. Now next is like import pandas as PD. Then from pandas import Excel file. And now you can create panda df pd.excel file. Just give the path. And you have to mention the engine openpi Excel. So once you execute this, this will create the panda uh, Python panda framework data frame. And here you can see the sheet available. As I showed you before, we have sheet one. If you have multiple sheets, you can check which sheet you need to pull the data, right? So now I'm creating the uh, that specific sheet DF. So PDF dot parse sheet one. So if you execute this, this will create the proper pandas data frame, right? No name, city, state, and you have the specific uh, values. So now you can use this data frame, Python data frame, and convert that into um, PySpark data frame. Now we created Python pandas data frame. We can convert this panda data frame into Spark data frame. It's very easy, right? So what we can do is uh, df equal to spark dot create data frame within bracket. You need to provide sheet 
and the code EF. This is the Android EF that we just created above. And uh, you can display this Spark EF here. Yes. So it is the same uh, data frame, looks like the same, but this one is uh, PySpark data frame and the above one is uh, Pandas data frame. So this is how you can convert, uh, read the data from Excel, create Python Pandas data frame, convert that into a PySpark data frame and you can do all other normal PySpark functions on top of this one. All right, so this is what I want to show you in this session and uh, I'll come up with more such videos in next session till then bye If you would like to receive more such videos, please like and Subscribe to my channel. Also, if you would like to connect with me I have provided my details here my email and LinkedIn. So thank you very much